Hey, today is Good Friday, Sunday being um, Easter, and this video I'm making is what I'm going to publish on Easter, and I didn't really think I wanted to, to do a video about stocks on Easter Sunday. I wanted to share a little bit more about me and my life and, and how I approach my life, and uh, I'm not a real religious person. I will not be going to church on Sunday or um, and celebrating in that, that regard. Instead, I reflect back on a question that my two granddaughters asked me several years ago. Uh, that would be Emma and Haley. And they said, Bobby, you don't go to church, do you? And I said, no, I don't. And they both do. And I was raised in the Catholic Church, and they're being raised in the Catholic Church. And they said, why don't you go to church? And I said, I don't believe that God lives in that building or any building. I said, odds are, if 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 he lives anywhere, he lives in the woods behind my house. And that's where I would probably go to meet him. And they said, well, how do you, do you believe in God? And I said, I don't know. I don't know. But the way I live my life relative to God, because I think God actually, if he's anywhere, he's in, in my body. I said, if Jesus comes back, if God sends Jesus back, what I'm trying to do is make sure that Jesus comes and lives in my body. That's how I want to live my life. I want to be a good, kind person and 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 I want to be seen as a good person and and share and be a part of a good citizen in my community and a good neighbor and a good just a good person. Um, so I was reflecting on that and then today I have to take Nita down. She's got an eight thirty appointment um, to do to, to with her eye doctor and they won't let me in. So it's downtown. So I'm going to. Uh, spend some time down in downtown Birmingham, and I thought, well, I need to kind of put some value to it. So I've decided, you know, I invest in what I call the long game, that you can learn from the past, and then you can you can invest based on what you think is going to happen in the future. And there's some things that have been troubling me, and um, they're relative to the history of Birmingham. And, and what happened in Birmingham in 1963, um, and that was the, the civil rights movement, the bombing of the 16th Avenue Church. And I'm going to go down and visit that. And I think there's some lessons to be learned. And I think there's some lessons to be learned relative to investing. And I want to share them with you. I think a, probably a lot of you aren't going to know what I'm going to share with you Um as part of the history of Birmingham. So come with me and let's see if we can't learn something about the past and give us some insight into the future and how we can be a better person as a result of it. So if you that doesn't interest you, happy inter Easter anyway, have a good day and whatever your goals in life and your position is life, I hope it happens for you. Okay, I'm headed. I got to take me to downtown. Best of Us Investors presents Carrie Griegmeier. Okay, I'm here in Kelly Ingram Park. Kelly Ingram Park is um, kind of a memorial to the civil rights movement that uh, happened here in, in Birmingham. It started pretty much in I guess it was May of 1963. At that point, I was a freshman in college, and I had little or no awareness of it. Um, I was in my own world in Muncie, Indiana. And what happened here was the people of Birmingham kind of rebelled that they were being discriminated against, that there were uh, black restrooms and, and white restrooms, that they weren't allowed to right on the front of the bus, that they weren't allowed to eat at lunch counters, and they were basically being discriminated against, and they got involved in the, the civil rights movement that was being led by Martin Luther King. And we had a, 
a police chief by the name of Bull Connor, and he basically brought the dogs and, and the fire hoses and to, to disperse these people. Um, and uh, it brought national attention to the civil rights movement. Uh, it, it resulted in Martin Luther King uh, spending some time in the Birmingham jail, um, which again brought uh, recognition to the to the civil rights movement. Um, then in September um, of uh, 1963, a, a bomb was set on that church over there. Um, that's the 16th Avenue Baptist Church. Um, uh, it, it is assumed it was set there at um, Saturday night uh, on September, I believe, the, the 11th. And then uh, it, it blew up at um, about 1045, just before the 11 o'clock service, and it killed four young girls who were in the sanctuary getting ready to sing in the choir or, or participate in, in the services. And as you can see, it did some tremendous destruction. It was heard all over the city, and um, the perpetrators, the it, it, it was pretty well thought that it was done by the Ku Klux Klan and it took years uh, for any, any justice to come, anybody to be tried and convicted for the, the bombing of, of the Baptist Church. This whole thing um, is, is disturbing to me. Uh, as I say, I'm an investor that invests in the future and I think as a result of uh, disruptive technology as a result of the coronavirus, we're going to have some tremendous change that's going to happen in our medical care system, in our manufacturing program to make sure we don't have a continued broken supply chain. A lot of change is going to happen in the next three to five years. And, and the speed of that change is going to be mind-boggling. But yet, I think back, this happened here in Kelly Ingram Park in 1963, and, and I, I met a gentleman, and I want to, to let him, Frederick, I think his name is, if I recall, uh, explain to you what he explained to me. Frederick, why don't you, Frederick, no, go ahead, walk over there, and why don't you tell me about this? What am I looking at here? You're looking at the Miami that it took 50 years to get put out here. 2013 was the 50th anniversary of Obama. Obama, Michelle, and Rose Park came for the reenactment of the bombing that church. We finally got this money today. This money represented all the kids that were killed. But she was from four girls. But the girl who stand up got six doves on hand, recognized six life that stood there. So there were six kids killed, not four. The youngest girl was Denise McNair. Her body was washed down at the bottom one of the church. They found the shoes and glass they got out here. But Carol Robinson won a 14 year girl. Her 16 year old cousin, Johnny Robinson, came up right the bombing. He behind the church throwing rocks and bottles. Police shot him in the back behind church, killing him. He was 16 years old. Right away, his brother was supposed to be on the newspaper route. Two young guys, new members of the clan, jumped on the scooter, chasing him down. Brody was on the hand by, he was shot once in the chin, once in the chest, killing him. He was 14 years old. The judge gave those two boys six months probation and 125 dollars fine because they were new members of the clan. The judge was Grand Poop out of the Cooper clan. He later on became a Supreme Court justice. His name is Hugo L. Black. But Adam McCollin was one of 14 year old. Her sister Sarah was coming out the bathroom when the bomb went off. Strapping his Sarah in the face. She's totally blind in one eye, but she's reading two books about the Sarah Wright movie. This is Sarah College. You can pull her up on your phone. Ask her to read one of her books. Okay. See if I don't somebody tell them the truth. But it was six kids killed, not four. These bricks in the sidewalk for a very important reason. Because when the kids used to march, they used to march red, yellow, brown, or white. We all the same in God's sight. Red, yeah. It used to be a milk or something. As I said, this whole thing. And then, what, uh, April the 4th, 19, 2021, as I look back 53 years, 50, 58 years, I guess it is, what's changed? And, and I keep seeing an image that really disturbs me, and it's an image of Derek Chavin with his leg, his knee, on George Floyd's neck for over nine minutes. And what disturbs me so much about this is the 
fact that I was trained to do the same thing. I wasn't trained to kill African Americans, and I don't. I hope Derek wasn't really trained to kill African Americans. I, I was trained to kill Vietnamese. Uh, I took my basic training at Fort Dix, New Jersey, and I'll never forget the the weeks I was trained to hit a Vietnamese in the face with the butt of my M14 magazine and as he our, our M14 rifle and as he went to the ground I was trained to take my big army boot and stomp on his neck and then drop my knee on his neck until he died I was trained to do that and I was trained to scream the words kill as I did it and I look in the eyes of Derek and I and I say to myself I know he's the perpetrator I know he killed George Floyd and and maybe George George was on drugs and maybe George was was high and maybe he had a weak heart but if Derek hadn't done that would George still be alive today God help thank you on this Easter Sunday that I never made it to Vietnam to to practice what I was trained to do but in Derek's eyes I see disdain shut up I'm doing what I'm trained to do so I look into the future and I say is this going to change is this the turning point that is going to change this or is this just aggravating it more how does that relate to how does that relate to investing i don't think it does and I, I i i can't find a connection but what i'm hoping is what this video will help you see is that you need to be a part of the change you need because you live a better life. I have a good friend named Jamal. Jamal's African American. We talk about this. And I talked to Jamal about the luck of the birth canal. I said, Jamal, you're a very sharp individual. You're a hard worker. But you just came down a different birth canal. I got luckier. Uh, I came down a white woman's birth canal. You came down an African American's. And I don't mean to say you're unlucky in that. But you've just had to work so much harder than I have to achieve what you've achieved relative to what I've achieved. It isn't right. I can't correct it. But I think we can. I think we can. And, and if this video upsets you and, and says, I'm going to unsubscribe, well, that's okay. But I needed to say this. I'm a lucky person because of who my mother was. I've had opportunities that other people haven't. If with my drive and ambition I had ended up with someone's knee on my neck, the luck of the birth canal. Well, that's my Easter reflection. I hope it wasn't a downer for you. Uh, but that's what I thought about how lucky I am how unfortunate other people are and let's just make this a better place to live in and let's learn from our mistakes and let's hope that as our world evolves over the next three five ten years we never experience anything like what we experienced in birmingham in september of 19 of 1963 and then what the people of Minneapolis experienced in 2020. Let's hope this never happens again. Happy Easter. See you tomorrow.